Hey YouTube family, welcome back, welcome back. So today I'm with Amber Diamond. We have a day off today from filming on set. And so we decided to get Korean barbecue. Yeah. Nobody else wanted to eat with us, so it's just us. Okay. <laughs> that looked like tofu or something like tofu. I don't add a mom Okay, so this is their menu. So we're gonna do soup and barbecue because we're starving. So basically, this is where you grill your meat, and this is for your soup. It's a little stove top. It is cold here in Jersey. They got dumpling and quail eggs and tripe. I am ready to eat. I am starving. All right, and we have our little sauce bar. Is that for the dumpling? This is for everything. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get like one of everything. I'm so excited about all this. garlic yes to get it all get it all amber okay so this is our spread you guys we got our rice they don't have kimchi here so this is my little pot of tomato soup and she got spicy set swan mm -hmm. i am so happy that amber knows how to eat and let's cook our meat let's begin uh, so i'm gonna grill and then some in my pot you know yeah some in my pot too it's sticking already? Yeah. Oh, that's butter. Oh, okay. I'm over here waiting for my um. Uh... Me too. Thank you. Then... Waiting for our noodles. I know. Amber. Yeah, you know, I'll be cooking a little bit. Come on, grab. Grab there. This one tomato, <laughs> one tomato, tomato soup. <laughs> Nobody really wants to eat anything. And they don't eat nothing for real, real. 
They all ask, what's hot pot? What's that? I'm like, how do you not know what hot pot is? Where's the food off? Do they want to eat, uh, to eat barbecue first? Baby. I'm putting my rice and my soup. That's like my soup. <laughs> oh, the seasoning on that meat is so good. Mm. Mm. I love this red hot fire every day. Mm. Mm. I bet we eat all of it too. You know how they said no food left behind? No food will be left behind. I gotta eat my meat. Get me to cook. What is your favorite game on Wild and Out so far? My favorite game on Wild and Out. I love that game. Yeah, it's a fun game. I don't know why I like that game. I guess it's a challenge with me. For as far as filming, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That and then like, um, just, I don't know, being surprised on who my partner would be, just knowing if I'm going to do good or not. And, uh, yeah. But all in all, I love all in all. We got our greens. That's it. Thank you. Ooh, the way I knew them. Oh, I didn't. I thought the dumplings came out steam. I didn't know they were like that. Why are these cold? I thought it was gonna be deep fried. Everything is cold. Okay, pasta noodle and throw them in here. Pasta noodle. Pasta noodle. That's just. Do I drop the whole block in there? Or half? I said a whole block. Fuck it. We gotta defrost. Yeah. It's cold in this restaurant. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, it looks like magic, I swear. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. No problem. Oh, yes, thank you. It's great. Uh, you know what I also want? Give me like them diodes. What's in them? I think these might be for Much meat should we do next? Pork belly. Can I give me shrimp dumplings but they're frozen? I'm gonna put them in. I'll try them in the way. And I have some watercress. I just love the vegetables. They season this meat really good. So good. Okay, just the garlic part. So Amber, where did you start? So, um, what was your first gig or like first five or home mirror? Okay, so, um, let me see. What was my first one? My first one was good. Um, I used to do music videos. I used to model a lot. Because she's so tall and beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. It was like, uh, I think, I did a Drake music video that was good back then, but it wasn't like, no one knew that was, well, people really started knowing me from, I did a TV show with my mom called Raising Fame. Okay. It was on TLC. And then we went on and did another TV show after that called Fix My Mom. You and your mom? Mm -hmm. So you guys have a lot of, a lot of stuff together. Mm -hmm. And then, MTV gave me my own show. It was called Ben Thinking, I was the host of it. Me okay. and um, a guy named Matt Rico. Uh -huh. We used to travel around and do, um, like, ask people questions on the street and stuff. Oh, nice. So that was fun. That was another, like, viral moment. But that was also on, like, uh, Crash Point Oh. I don't know if you remember that show. Crash Point Oh? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I was on that show. And I used to go there a lot. That's how I got all my sad cards. But I just used to do a whole bunch of stuff. I met Nick, though, on Real Husband of Hollywood. Okay. And I did Real Husband of Hollywood. I would do, like, featured extra roles. I would have, like, models and stuff. And then one day I met Nick. And then he was like, yeah, you should um, join Wild Out. And I didn't think he was serious. And he was serious. And he actually put me on. Are you a Wild Out girl? Yeah. Nice. Because I became a Wild Out girl before I got my show on MTV. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Well, that's dope. Yeah. And that's the one Thanks to Nick. Yeah. Nick is like, he's the best. Because there's so many people. Opportunity. Jobs and opportunities. Yeah. Mm. So yes. this is what my soup is looking like. I got my udon. My vegetables cooking in there. One truck. You got a grill or you want to soup it? I'm ready to dig into this soup. I'm gonna have to move this off of this. Oh, this I know. But I want to sit it in front of me. Oh. All right. Mm, look at this soup. Asian friends that introduce you to places, or you just like to go try your own? So, my mom was married to a Pakistani man. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I grew up eating my Pakistani food, so I always like very spicy food, and I like to try different things. So, my mom used to always random things of stuff like fried alligator, fried frog legs, stuff like that. I'm gonna make them eat it, and we'll be like, no, nah, y'all gotta try everything. So, when I was like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. When I grew up, I just kind of tried everything, and I just always liked it. It's good. I tried everything once before I said I don't like it. Right. Maybe twice, because the first place my, maybe can make it right. What is your favorite food? Terrible food. Just Indian food. Indian food. Well, we have some good Indian food at the moment. Want to see? Indian food is my favorite, but then my second favorite is Asian food. What do you say Asian food? But then I have like top tier of Asian food, like I like mainly Japanese, and then I go to like Korean, 
and it's like now that I'm getting older, like I think about how it's like. Damn, Thank you. It's hard to take care of myself. Imagine my mom being my age having to take care of three kids at my age by herself. Like damn, that shit just big kudos for showing love and all the other hardworking moms out there. Big kudos to me. Oh right, I have my son. It ain't easy. What about you? Do you want children? I'm ready. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to have kids. I want all that. Yeah. How is the dating life for you here in, uh, in the LA or in the industry? The dating industry sucks. Because <laughs> it's just like not everybody. I guess okay, so I'm 27. So the guys that I'm dating, they're around either early 20s, late 20s, or early 30s, late 30s. And so um, some of them are just not ready for the things that I'm ready for. And I feel like I'm always rushing to do it, hurry up, because when I'm ready, if you're not ready, then I don't want to talk to you no more. Right. So I'm, I'm quick to stop talking to people, because I don't, I don't feel like people deserve my time if they're not, you know, willing to step up and be, you know. Well, if you are on your thing and you feel like you make a perfect match with Amber, he is available and ready. You just have to find the same person to have the same goals as you that's ready at that time. Because at that point, men do get to an age where, okay, I'm ready to settle down. I'm tired of running the streets. And they, they be on the same thing too, but you just got to find that person. You know? And then my, I, I guess I always tell myself I have to change my type because I always go for the same type of guy. Yeah. Yeah. You need a nice guy. Nicer than you. That's hard. hard. <laughs> Cause like I'm the type of person that makes sure that everybody around me is good before I make sure I'm good. You know? mm -hmm. I'm about to put my pot back on. Get some more vegetables. Well, it's nice to have you here with me. Like we've been hanging out. I love you and I appreciate you. I feel like you took me under your wing, you know what I'm saying? And this is, I feel like we definitely grew closer than last season. Yeah. It's limited people too. You know, but I feel like we vibe good together. We actually work, you know, we don't just sit around and play. Yeah. 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 But I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me, girl. Mm -hmm. And now we'll go back home. Take a nap. <laughs> Would you, you ever live on East Coast? Yeah. Um, every time I've lived out here, I've never really had good experiences. So I was like, I don't know about that. It's a little aggressive. Yeah, I always thought about moving to Atlanta though. But I keep saying too much shit in Atlanta. People um, get killed and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But someone told me that um, some little kids robbed the person down here. At a nice restaurant during the daytime. What? A little kid? Yeah, some kids. It's crazy. This is good. Did you ever go on the East Coast? I did. I grew up in the DMV. All my life. I never moved until I went to Atlanta. I, I did Atlanta for four years. And now I'm in LA. So LA, I mean, more than like California. It's a big difference. Big, big difference. Big, big difference. People are nicer in Cali. That's what I'm about to say. The people are so different. Much like nicer. The people on the East Coast, they're very aggressive. Very aggressive. No ma. You got a nice smile. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Seems like you're about to fight me, sir. You know who I love? Um, Big Mac. Mm -hmm. um, he's from here. And um, that Big day, a guy was trying to talk to me outside the hotel. And Big Mac would not leave my car. Everybody else had one right back inside, but Big Mac stood right next to me. Mm -hmm. to the so now that's a real dude. Mm -hmm. Big Mac is Jew's favorite from Wild and All. So I'll be FaceTiming him so she can talk to him. You say nothing, she just smiles. Mm -hmm.
It's just like you can just touch his energy, his everything is like always up. And it is helpful too, you know. Big Mac helps me a lot too in this game, you know. JJ too. Probably, I mean, almost everybody, you know, for the most part. Everybody on the show is very nice and helpful. And, you know, all you gotta do is ask. But yeah. Drop this shrimp. <laughs> we ate almost everything. Almost everything. We gotta eat. We gotta do the butter first. Oh, that's a new one. I know, but it's so sticky. I'm so disappointed about this. The bread? Yeah. I'm like, do people normally dip it in the bro? Excuse me. <laughs> The seasoning on this meat is good. On the, the beef ribs. Mm -hmm. Or the nails or for a while and out. I'm like, yes. 
and what you have upcoming for you. Okay, well, everybody, you guys can find me on my Instagram and Twitter at Emma and on TikTok, Emma Irby. And um, I'm actually going to Norway next month. Congratulations. I think the Google was picked up on Netflix, but I think I'm not sure yet. But that's what they said. But if you go on Google, you can see it. It's called The Best Sheep. Um, and it's a Norway project. And I'm excited. So yeah, you guys check that out. Or, you know, research it. I don't know. It'll probably be out in like 22 or 23 or something. But I'm excited. Well, thank you for eating with me. And being my buddy. Uh -huh. Alright guys, Cash is on season 17. I hope I'm keeping well enough. I love you guys. Bye-bye.